Hello everyone, my name is Deepika and welcome to my channel. As promised, I'm showing you few of my landscapes that I did. I'll be sharing tips and techniques and few secrets about my watercoloring techniques. जब मैंने स्टार्ट किया था वाटर कलरिंग तो मुझे वो टिप्स के बारे में नहीं पता था एंड देन वन ऑफ माई टीचर्स कॉलेज टीचर टोल्ड मी दैट वाटर कलरिंग इज ऑल अबाउट वर्किंग इन लेयर्स एंड दैट स्टेटमेंट स्टक विद मी आई थिंक दैट इज द सीक्रेट टू ऑल द वाटर कलर पेंटिंग्स दैट आई हैव बीन डूइंग Wait. Okay. So the first secret that I'm sharing is that always work with layers. सबको पता है इसके बारे में but हम notice नहीं करते हैं जब हम वाटर कलरिंग करते हैं जस्ट नोटिस एवरी वाटर कलर आर्टिस्ट दे आर वर्किंग इन डिफरेंट लेयर्स तो लेट एस स्टार्ट with our tutorial we will be painting a leaf let's start with this simple leaf using only two colors i'm using sap green and gamboge hue let's first make make the swatches of these colors again a simple wash flat wash remove the excess pigment from the brush and with plain water slowly just to see how light this color can be and what the lightest tone would be like then this green color there's one more color that would that i would like to make by mixing this and this yellow Okay, the second secret that I want to tell you about water coloring is that you don't need, like, you don't actually need much of white color for this. To achieve any lightest color, what you need to do is just use a lot of water. I think to give few details of this leaf. I would love to use burnt umber for these dark tones. Let's see. Let's start by sketching the leaf. Most of the time I don't like to sketch before painting but just to give you a rough idea all these sketch really light if you're not comfortable doing that first sketch and then erase it with a needle needable eraser or normal eraser that's it yeah. let us start by painting the first layer i'm using this yellow and a lot of water for the first layer Sometimes I like to leave some white space while coloring for the lightest part. Then I'm using this green. So 
so guys this is our first layer look at this that this glossy finish we let it dry I'm leaving few this light yellow part वाटर कलर में लाइट टू डार्क जाते हैं तो सबसे पहले लाइटेस्ट कलर्स जो आपको दिख रहे हैं वो बना करके स्टार्ट करते हैं देन उससे डार्क देन उससे डार्क टोटली डिपेंड्स कि किस लेयर पे यू फील दैट नाउ दिस इज डन ये डिसाइड करना भी एक बहुत टफ टास्क है मैं सारा एक ही ब्रश को यूज़ करके बना रही हूँ अगेन दैट फाइन आर्ट का ट्वेल्व नंबर ब्रश ये डायरेक्शन आप देख रहे हैं लीव्स का इफ यू कैन सी हमें इसी डायरेक्शन पे लेके जाना है Now our second layer is done. Now we'll let this second layer dry. I'm using this triple zero brush to give few details on my stem. I'm using burnt umber. You can mix sap green and burnt umber to give a little dirty green color. And it looks a little olive kind of color. Now the detail of the leaf. You are the one who decide that you want to finish your painting or artwork in three layers, or four layers, or five layers. How much detail you want to give? Practice with anything that you have near you. And let me know in comments if this was hel helpful for you. It is a secret. Ab samaj gaye, then there is no looking back. Uske baad practice. Practice makes a man perfect. I won't say I'm perfect, but I think most of the time I achieve what I want to achieve and that is most important. You should be happy, enjoying Let me show you this with another angle. I am comfortable using any plate, steel plate or anything, but I think to show the real colors, we do need white plate and preferably ceramic. Okay, again, जब भी बड़ा area cover करना हो, at that time use bigger size. Brush. 
it will save a lot of your time in choti choti details ke liye triple zero you don't need much brushes starting mein again as i said just enjoy the process i think we should stop here very tough for me i mean very tough for me to stop myself from giving more detail to my leaf but i think we should we let it dry so we have been able to make our first leaf using watercolor secrets i hope you guys have enjoyed this tada